All right, Armando, I'm going to make you a quick video here. I do not have time to clean up and make a YouTube video as I haven't had in a long time because we are so behind. Uh, but I've got your 447 all done and complete for you. I'm going to try to keep this video short. Uh, we have completely decked the radio out. It's got the full tune. Uh, it's got upgraded finals. The echo board is done out the face on this radio. So it's an upgraded echo board with mods done out the face. We've got hi-fi transmit, hi-fi receive. We got uh, five band uh, internal equalizer. Uh, and then we also have a, a variable peak control here, a variable average control. I labeled uh, both for you so you know what's what. Uh, we also have a headphone jack, which is at the front, so that's the most logical to like, you're going to have that on your ear, so uh, to keep that from getting tangled up with your MP3. MP3, you go to your phone for recording and playbacks. Uh, everything is labeled so you know what everything is. Uh, your D104 is modified. I picked it out out of several I had modded to match with the radio perfect. Uh, and then I've got your 878. I just got it hanging here so it would kind of form it uh, to uh, have a slight bend so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, so I'll go ahead and set this over here now and excuse the mess because my bench is a wreck right now uh, but anyway uh, let's go ahead and see what the output is real quick here Get my mic out of the way uh, 200 watt scale we're going to modulate it uh, we are modulating to 128 peak uh, we're looking at uh, the uh, spectrum analyzer that is uh, lagging i don't know why it didn't show up yet there it goes all right so that's good everything is nice and clean uh looking at the lp up here we got 158 watts fantastic numbers we'll look at the uh peak on the 250 watt slug top scale uh, we are reading 140 something peak 145 147 something like that um, we'll look at our average output with a 100 watt slug reading the bottom scale uh, we are modulating to 50 uh, bird average. Uh, I stayed uh, semi-conservative on the average because if you get too much average and you roll this peak down too far, your ratio can be terribly out of balance. So it's a lot more user-friendly this way and 50 birds plenty, you know, that's some good numbers. Uh, so now let's show what this thing can drop to. So I'm gonna cut the peak all the way down. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. Uh, and we'll cut the average all the way down. So all the way down, all the way down, and take the carrier and cut it all the way down. We're just going to show you how low it can go because it can go very low. So uh, that will modulate to only 13 watts PEP. Still clean on the spectrum analyzer at 13 watts peak, you know, 20 watt scale. So uh, it can go very, very low, lower than I usually allow them to go, but I wanted you to have full range. And that's from like a three quarter watt carrier or so, uh, between three quarters and, a, no, it maybe it was actually a hair higher than that. I think it's like a watt and a half. Let me, let me look at that. So that's on the video for you. I'm making this too long. It's gonna be hard to send through Messenger if I don't hurry up. Uh, it's just a carrier, yeah, a uh, watt and a half. So uh, a little over a watt and a half carrier swinging to 13 and a half peak. Uh, and then you have full range for everywhere in between that. Key 17 all the way up and swings to uh, just under 130 watts. Capable of a mild amount more, but I went for best audio, not, you know, best watts. All right, so now let's go ahead and plug into my line level and hook up the mic. I'll show you the D104 first. It sounds fantastic with either microphone. Sounds phenomenal. Uh, but let me plug in my headphones in my ear. I don't know if I can do this with one hand without setting the phone down uh, But I'm gonna try All right, Darren's holding the phone for me Get my other headphone in All right, D104 is already plugged in I'm gonna plug in the uh, the line level cable here uh, Into my monitor here, and we'll see what it sounds like All right, uh, there you go, Armando, uh, checking out this uh, uh, Stryker uh, 447 HPC2 uh, with your modified handheld D104. I've got everything wide open, bass, average, mic gain, carrier, etc. Hello, one, two, check one, two. Uh, audio check one two breaker breaker uh, checking it out with the D104 uh, let me uh, go to the 878 actually let me pause it so you could hear a direct back-to-back -back. let me pause it here 
All right, uh, there's the 878 bass microphone. You could hear a little bit more range on the highs, a little bit more layers all together. Uh, this bass station microphone just has a little bit more range to it, so it can bring in a little bit more a little bit more noise. It's subtle, but it, it can bring in a little more being uh, more dynamic. Hello, one, two, check one, two. Armando, I, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. This is an 878 D-Rail modified base station microphone. And uh, we're checking it out with a heavily modified Striker 447 HPC2. Hello, one, two, 1.0 on my dummy load. Hello, one, two, breaker, breaker.